AWS uh, recognition, which helps you to identify images, uh, videos, text, etc. So let's get started with the agenda. OK, so let's let's go ahead and understand what your AWS recognition is all about. So this service helps you to identify or analyze your videos and images. Um, at back end, it uses machine learning algorithm, but you don't have to worry about um, it, it is very simple to use and you don't need to be an AI ML expert to use this service. Right. Um, so using the service, you can identify unsafe content or you can uh, extract interesting quotes written on any object or if you've got a, a group picture from there, you can uh, figure out if there are there were any celebrities in those pictures. So things like this, you'll be able to do it through your AWS recognition series. Uh, this is the uh, fun part, but where else you can use the services if you want to provide your customer a customized or personalized experience. So for example, uh, you are an owner of a shop and you want to ensure that all your VIP customer get special uh, discounts, right? So moment they enter and if your app uh, or has uh, this service installed in it, it would be able to recognize those people, uh, those important people, VIP people and you as in when they proceed uh, to different uh, stall, you'll be able to um, give them the special uh, discount. Right, so this is what happens in IKEA. Like, okay, the moment you uh, visit their various section, you keep getting discounts. Right, so similar kind of a thing you can do it first. Identify the important customer uh, or the customer who purchases a lot from your uh, app or a store. Uh, right, and then once you know that, okay, this is that customer. Now you can integrate that offer service, uh, which would give you give the user notification on special discount. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, so the key feature you would have already understood. It's about identifying objects and scene, text detection, content moderation to find in whether the uploaded image or video is safe or unsafe for the users. And then you can also use a custom label. So you can train the service to identify labels based on your business needs, like how I was telling you the VIP customer, okay, uh, male, female, okay, this person uh, purchases items mainly from the kitchen, uh, uh, things related to uh, kitchen or home decor, right? So you can identify those kind of thing and give the uh, experience or offer accordingly. Yeah, so security and surveillance, user verification, public safety, media analysis, and the customized journey for specific customer is some of its use cases. So before we move into the demo, let me quickly uh, give you uh, more detail about this uh, service where you can find on AWS. So if you uh, search for um, AWS recognition, Documentation, yeah. Yeah, so this has all the details. What it can do, um, the some of its key features, uh, usages, and then uh, this part is really important that, okay, this service can be integrated with various other services like your S3, or Lambda, etc. And how you can use the service either through SDK, through CLI, or through console. In today's demo, I'll be using your um, AWS SD, SDK, right? Okay, and here are like a example based on the scenario you want to explore uh, today i'll be going to analyze an image uh, but you can use this to analyze the videos etc and uh, on the github if you go onto the github aws doc and here you find a lot of examples right you can delete the faces detect text get celebrity info and then detect uh, what do you say the celebrity images etc so there are a lot of things given and it's given for various long languages like .NET, java javascript php and python so i'll be using python okay so for this um, what you have to do you have to first create your s3 bucket which i've already created once you've created an s3 bucket go ahead and upload images so i had downloaded two images i'll go ahead and uh, add those here 
so one is bike another one is car okay. upload images upload right let's see if this aws recognition services are able to identify these images as car or a bike okay uh, let's go ahead to um, the ID which I'm going to use, which is AWS Cloud9. Uh, this I have used in my previous sessions as well, right? So you would have seen it so easy to create. So this is done. Let me open this in ID. And as I'm using AWS SDK, uh, I need to install uh, Boto3, right? So yes. Okay, once this is done. So let's go ahead and first install photo three. So pip install photo three. Okay. So you would see that uh, with no extra knowledge on AI ML will I'm able to use this uh, service, right? Um, now what I'll do, I'll go ahead and create a file. Uh, my file type would be a Python file, OK? And I have this code with me, OK? I'll go ahead. Again, this you can find on AWS site only. See, it has got the link. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, the only change you have to do is Provide the name of the bucket, which can be found from here. This is my rec bucket. Yeah, see, you've already sp specified your client, which is recognition. OK, uh, here let me provide. The bucket name and then the image which I want. So I'll go ahead and. Run this over card.jpg, right? So if you want to see how does your card.jpg looks like. OK, I have not made it public and all, but that's OK. Oh, yeah, I've not made, made this public, but this is how your image looks like. OK. Yeah, so this is the car image. Now let's go ahead and run this service. Let me save this first. Yes. OK, let's see. Yeah. So uh, here I had mentioned that I want to identify 10 labels, which is 10 objects in that image. So see what all it was able to identify and then the confidence score. Yes, it's a car, the type of the car. Uh, OK, sports car, it's a vehicle. It is sedan, Lemo. Uh, again, uh, I don't know that much about the car, so I see, can see it is suggesting the models and the confidence score as well. Like, OK, so vehicle it is giving you 99.98%, right? And then sedan it is saying 99.81. Also, you can train this model uh, with more data to get increase this confidence score. OK, let's do it for another image, which was bike. Let's save it. So this is what it gave you. Yeah, it was able to identify only maximum seven, seven of the objects in that image. So that's it. Um, go ahead and uh, play with it, I would say. Uh, and then you can you know where the code can be found, right? Um, as always, once you're done um, practicing anything, ensure you delete uh, all the resources which you have created. So in my case, what all I have to delete is the environment and then the bucket. OK, so I'll I'll go ahead and get these things deleted. And meanwhile, you can all go ahead and play with this uh, service. Uh, just keep one thing in mind uh, that as it can be used through three places like CLI, uh, console and um, uh, SDK. So if uh, plus you can directly pass the image as well, right? So 
in case of when I had uploaded the image on S3, I didn't have to convert it in, into a bytecode, etc. But if you want to pass uh, your image directly, that it's not the location of the image which you have to uh, pass, but you have to pa convert it into uh, encode it into uh, base 64, right? I think that's the format for the image, uh, which is already written in the documentation as well. So do read that, yeah. So uh, convert it and then you can uh, use. Uh, uh, this uh, service to filter your content or identify. So somewhere here in the image, it would be see. Yeah, yeah. So e either it would you read the image and then you have to convert it into a, a format okay, if you're not using S3, etc. So that's it. Thank you, everyone. Thanks.